Hey, this is Brandon Ives. Wanted to share a quick thought. I'm working on a project right now, which uh, should be coming out soon, but I wanted to share what I'm talking about in that project. Uh, part of it is building out your professional network. And the idea uh, is pretty simple. I want to make sure that people know how to advance their career and understand how to work with people and to add value to your networks. So uh, there are three things that I think are vitally important when it comes to helping uh, partners or helping uh, networked professionals. One thing is understanding the value uh, that you bring to your network. You should always be, be bringing value to others, um, identifying people that you can invest in, that you can help, that you can support, and then building and maintaining those relationships. I mean, that's what professional networking is. In order to do that, you have to have a clear understanding of what your value proposition is, whether you're a loan officer, a website designer, an, you know, auto detailer, handyman service, residential cleaner. There's always somebody else out there who could really use your services. So, for example, if I'm a loan officer, I want to be networking with as many real estate agents as I possibly can. Uh, if I'm a website designer, I'm trying to network with small business owners, especially ones that have a great personal network uh, themselves. Maybe, you know, if I'm working as a website designer, I'm looking for uh, insurance agents or, or loan officers, or I'm looking for people that have uh, interaction with other professionals all the time that have websites. And, you know, maybe I'm going to even do some pro bono work for one person in order to get into that network and add value to them so that then I have the opportunity uh, to meet relationships with others. Auto detailing, you know, a lot of times we think about professionals as ones who need to uh, do all of the networking, but in auto detailing, if you find a small used car dealer where the actual salespeople or the owner is the one doing the actual cleaning of the cars, they would much rather pay you to clean the car and to outsource that. And if you do a great job and you provide, you know, maybe a discounted rate for being able to do two or three cars at a time, that can be a great way to add benefit to the used car dealer and then also for you to have a steady stream of of clients. If you're a residential cleaner, let's say you're somebody who, you know, cleans homes and you run a you know, small janitorial uh, company or a maid service, finding property managers where you come in and, and after somebody moves out of an apartment, they don't want to deal with having to clean that mess up. Maybe they'd like to contract you to be able to take care of those homes at the end of the lease when people move out. And that's a way for you to grow your revenue. So these are just a few of the ideas. But the main, main, main point is that you should be looking to always increase your network of professionals that you're engaged with and find the ways that you can add value to them. Otherwise, you're just begging for business. And that's not what networking should be. Networking should be about giving value, providing value, building relationships, getting people to like you, and then uh, wanting to spend time working with you over the next five to 10 years.